Of all the planets in the universe, Earth is clearly the best for life, right? Eh, wrong. Earth may be great, but scientists have discovered a few worlds that could be even better for life. Behold, KOI 5715.01. Most of the contenders on our super habitable planet list aren't the ones you could visit anytime soon. They are very far away. The top spot is held by one 3,000 light years away from our solar system. KOI 575.01 would appear to satisfy the most basic requirement for supporting life. It exists in the Goldilocks zone of its star so conditions wouldn't be too hot or too cold for a key life-supporting ingredient to exist on its surface, liquid water. But it would also check off many boxes to be considered super habitable. The planetary system it belongs to could be five and a half billion years old, which would make it around one billion years older than our own solar system and the planet would almost fit the size requirement. When looking for super habitable worlds, scientists keep their eyes peeled for planets that have a mass up to one and a half times of our planet, and they should be about 10% larger too. This size difference would help the planet retain heat, and if its average temperature was about five degrees Celsius higher than Earth's, well, this planet could have even richer biodiversity. Now, being almost double the size of Earth, KOI 5715.01 might overshoot this condition a bit. Besides, studies indicate that this planet is actually colder than Earth. But there's still hope. With the right atmospheric composition, a strong greenhouse effect could raise temperatures to the desired level. And as far as super habitable worlds go, well, we're just getting started. Approximately 2,700 light years away is Kepler 69c. This super Earth could be around 7 billion years old. This puts it perfectly in the estimated 5 to 8 billion year old age range for super habitable planets. This range is based on the three and a half billion years it took for complex life to appear on Earth. So the best chance for finding life could be on a planet a little older than us. Only this exoplanet could be a little too big to be super habitable. It has a mass almost four times that of Earth. A rocky planet this big could have a single colossal continent that would have huge deserts in its center. But the coastline, washed by Kepler's ocean, could be your perfect spot to move to. Our next super-Earth shares a similar name, Kepler 1126b, except it would be located ever so slightly closer to home. Yeah, this planet is about 2,073 light years away, and it belongs to a system that is seven and a half billion years old. It also orbits a yellow dwarf star, much like our own. Only Kepler 1126b is two and a half times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. But that's no big deal because the star Kepler 1126b orbits is cooler than ours, so the habitable zone would exist in a range much closer in proximity to it. If you aren't feeling this nearness to a scorching hot star, there's another super Earth on our list. And it's at a reasonable distance from home. Speculos 2c is located only 106 light years away. Not that its proximity gives it any kind of advantage. It would still take you well over 200,000 years to travel to this super Earth. And that's if you moved at the speed of NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the fastest probe ever launched. Speculos 2c does look promising, though. It's about 40% larger than Earth. 
There's also the potential for it being a rocky planet, just like ours. Now, despite the fact that it also exists in a habitable zone, its red dwarf star is still very small. It's only about 15% the size of our sun. So this planet orbits around its star at a very close distance. And this close distance could mean that Speculos 2c is tidally locked to its star. This super-Earth takes eight and a half days to make one full rotation on its axis, as well as one orbit around its star. That would leave one side of the planet in constant daylight and the other in endless night. This means that life could be possible in the Terminator Zone, the thin strip of land between the two sides. We just need to get a better look to find out for sure. But with all these candidates so far away, wouldn't it be nicer if the planets in our own solar system were a little more habitable? Well, that's a story for another What If. <laughs>